today, I will be doing a 12 hour writing marathon. For a bit of background, I'm writing a non-fiction book which I started back in November during the NaNoWriMo challenge and it went well. By December I had written around 75,000 words towards my draft and since then it has been a lot of ups and downs. Editing has been an absolute pain and I've been feeling a bit stuck and dry about it all. So recently I decided that I had to go back and change the entire structure of my book so far. I'll be keeping the same ideas, but it still means rewriting every word. I'm going to cry if I think about this for too long, but it will be worth it. But that's why I'm so excited for this challenge, because I will be starting a completely new document and I just need to get the ball rolling with this. So during NaNoWriMo, my goal was to write 2,000 words every day, and I wrote just over that. So I'm curious to see how many words I can get in today if I'm writing for 12 hours straight. Here's how it works. I will be writing every hour for 12 hours. Obviously, little breaks are okay, but if a whole hour passes and I haven't gotten any words in, then that's it, then I fail. So it's just turned 8 o'clock now. I actually meant to start at 7, but I guess that's gotten away from me. So I'll be starting at 8 and going until 8 p.m. And before I waste any more time, I'm going to get started and I will give you an update after the first hour. So hour one is done. I wrote a total of 1,112 words, which I'm surprised about because I wasn't tracking my word count while I was writing and it was tough at first, but then I got into a bit of a flow, which I think helped. And it also helps that I had thought about this first bit that I was going to write for a while. So in my head, I already knew what I was going to say. And you can probably see I had my iPad prop propped up where I had taken some notes on what I want to write and I also wanted to show you I just got a new iPad case which is super cute it has like spilled ink that turns into little kitty cats it's adorable I love this I've actually waited months to get this you can see this is my favorite cat it's so cute I love it and it's actually really sturdy as well so now that I have this and a keyboard it'll be easier to go out to cafes, to the bakery, and do some writing there as well. Anyway, I also made a little chart so that I can track my word count for each hour today, and then at the end I will add it up. Let's get back to it.
a quick update. I've just finished hour three and time is flying by. I'm really surprised. I've written 1089 words this hour and it's going pretty well. I'm now getting into a bit of a flow again. And keep in mind, I'm rewriting a lot of the same ideas I already had. So this isn't completely from scratch, but I'm realizing that I definitely need to organize my sections a bit better because this is going to catch up with me later but it's already the start of hour four now it's 11.04 and I've had two coffees so far so I'm not very hungry but I'll just keep going and do some writing from where I left off since I'm feeling pretty good about it and then maybe at the end of this hour I'll go and make myself some breakfast. Update. I just finished hour four. You can see I wrote 675 words, so not as much this hour, but that's all right. Now I'm actually going to quickly get dressed, get ready, and head down to the bakery so I can grab myself a little bite for breakfast, and then I will do some writing the rest of this hour. It's noon now, so then in the next hour, in hour six, I can take a little lunch break and have a bite to eat, chill out, and then get back to writing. It's raining a bit outside, but that's all right. This will also help get some walking and movement in, which I hope will help me focus a bit better, and I'll take you along with me. got an umbrella so I'm cold and wet from the rain and I've got 15 more minutes to get some words in this hour so I'm going to quickly do that and then I will show you what I got. So since my last check-in was a bit rushed, I just want to clear things up again. When I got back from my walk, which was during hour five, I had about 15 more minutes and I wrote 419 words. Now for hour six, I wrote for 40 minutes and I wrote a total of 1,548 words, which I'm pretty happy with. I got in a pretty good flow and I was really enjoying it. I think also now that the caffeine is wearing off from my two coffees, I'm starting to feel a bit hungry and I'm really looking forward to my lunch break. So that was very motivating for me. In total, I've written 5,655 words so far. So as a reward for hitting 5k, I'm going to have the cup and I got from the bakery. I'm going to chill out and take a little break. And then for hour seven, I'm going to get back to it and do some more writing. I also realized that I'm already halfway through, which I'm so excited about. It feels like time is just flying by today since I got up this morning and I've never been this aware of minutes passing. It's going really quickly. I feel like I can hardly keep up, but 
I also know myself and I know that I work best with set time frames. So looking at this now, the amount that I wrote just in this hour, in less than an hour, if I would have had the time, I would have written that over three hours, for example. So I think this is actually such a great challenge for me because it keeps me really focused and productive. And I know that I only have this amount of time to get some writing done. And then I'm much more focused and engaged in what I'm doing. Otherwise, you know, the saying, a task will fill whatever time frame it's given. But so far, it's a bit stressful, but it's good. It's fun. And I can't wait to see how many words I'll actually write today and get done. But now I'm going to take a little break because every minute matters and then I'll get back to it. So a quick check-in, I just finished hour seven and I wrote 269 words. So it's not going great. <laughs> I took about a half an hour break and I had some lunch and I've been doing writing for the rest of that hour, but I've just been feeling tired and frustrated and cold and just overall not so great. I'm feeling really unmotivated right now and kind of regretting this because i am now on hour eight and i have one two three four five five more hours to go i can't believe i've already done seven hours of this um i'm hoping things will come around because i'm trying to go through and take notes of what i've done so far to bring some structure into it and my head just feels so foggy i don't even know what i'm writing anymore i have a total of just over 6,000 words, but I'm not feeling great about it. So anyway, hour eight has started. I'm going to get back to it and do some more writing. And hopefully I'm just feeling tired after having some lunch and things will come back around. I may or may not have another coffee. We'll see, but got to do this. So <laughs> let's get back to it. hour eight and I wrote 1020 words a bit better but I'm just really not feeling it and I also realized I haven't other than lunch I haven't really been taking any intentional breaks so maybe that's part of why I'm feeling a bit blah and I have four hours to go I'm actually starting to feel a bit better about that just because time is flying by I can't even keep up with it but one thing that's been annoying me so much is that we're having a big thunderstorm here and the Wi-Fi keeps going out every few minutes and because I'm using Google Docs to write, it just freezes the document mid midway. So I'll be like in the middle of a sentence or a thought and then I have to sit there and wait for a minute. And it's just so annoying because I don't have anywhere else where I have this saved or I can write. I know there are other writing tools out there, so I haven't actually tried any. Please let me know if you have some recommendations because I am just so fed up with this and I need to use something else. I hate Google Docs. It's great and it's simple and it works, but if you lose Wi-Fi, you'll just have lost all the progress you made. It, you can't even write in it. It's just so annoying. So please 
share with me what you use if you have any better alternatives that would really help and it is 4 20 here now so i just got some more water from upstairs and now i'm going to start our nine of today's write-a-thon so um i think i already said i'm at around 7,000 words now in total I'm actually hoping that I can get to 10,000 today. That would be great. It wasn't even my goal. In my head, I was aiming for five to 6,000 words. So that would be amazing. I'm going to try to reach that. That's four hours and just under 1,000 words each hour. I think that's totally doable. So that will be my goal for the rest of this. I just finished my 10th hour of writing today and I have over 9,000 words in total. Exactly 9,348. So um, I feel a bit fried. I just wrote for a whole hour straight, like no breaks at all. And I got a bunch done, but I am feeling tired. And I'm noticing that this definitely isn't my best quality work, but I do notice how I can get so much done with a challenge like this. So only two more hours to go. I'm going to take 15 minutes now. I might also make myself something for dinner and then I will get back to it. So I finished hour 11 with 708 words, which is okay. I did about half an hour of writing and then I took a little break so that I am ready for the last and final hour of the writing challenge. I'm actually really excited for this last hour and to be able to finish this. And since I passed 10,000 words so far as a reward for myself, I have, let me show you, I have these chocolate seashells, which are pretty popular in Germany, and they're my absolute favorite. So I'll be snacking on these. I have about a handful left while I do my last hour of writing. And I've pretty much been running on hard candies for the past six hours of writing, and I have had another coffee. So I cannot wait to finish this. It is 7.05 right now, and I am going to do a big final sprint and try to write all the way through and I will check in with you when I'm done. So see you soon!
I did it. <laughs> I'm done. I wrote for 12 hours straight. I wrote a lot more than I thought I would. I probably wrote the most that I've ever written in a day, which is cool. And I will say, is this my best writing? Probably not. I think, well, this has been a great challenge for getting words down, for being consistent, and I've been a lot more productive than I thought I would be. I still think that I'll be giving Editing Zoe quite a bit of work to do with this, so it's definitely not my best work. So my main takeaways from this challenge, the first thing is that time flew by so quickly. It has been just non-stop since 8 a.m. this morning. I feel like every time I've looked at the clock, it's been almost the end of an hour. And I've been so stressed and aware of each minute passing, like even going up and making myself another coffee, I'm stressed about it because that could be five, 10 minutes out of an hour. And that makes a huge difference with writing. When I went out for lunch to the bakery, I walked there and back and I was almost sprinting the way back because I had spent more than half an hour on this walk. So naturally, I also didn't do anything else today, which is great if you, for example, want to cut down on your screen time. But if you have anything else to do or any other plans, it's really difficult. However, it was very fun. I really love a challenge like this. But after doing the 12 hour challenge, I'm amazed to see people who've done the 24 hour challenge. I can't imagine doing that. I, I really couldn't. I think this was about it as much as I could do and it not be just complete garbage. So I definitely feel like the hardest point for me was when I got to six hours and maybe it's because that was the halfway point. Maybe it's because that's right after I had my lunch but I felt so unmotivated and tired. And in the evening towards the last hours, it was getting a bit better again. Maybe it's because the end was in sight, so it felt a bit more exciting and easy. Now, the big question, was it worth it? Did this actually help me with writing my book? Uh, <laughs> depends. I feel like it was helpful especially for me in the start, since I'm rewriting my draft, to just get words down and get started. I got quite a bulk of writing done. I have over 11,000 words in total. I, I don't know if you saw, I have 11,277 words in total. That would be a week of me writing during NaNoWriMo. That's crazy. So it was really great for that and just going through a lot at once. But this is definitely not something I would do when quality is more important. So I wouldn't do something like this during the editing stage because I also noticed that my typos increased with every hour into the challenge. And at the end, even when I was writing on my notepad with a pen, I was just making so many mistakes and I was getting more and more confused about what I was writing. I definitely should have planned this better. So if you're going to do this, that's something I can recommend, like actually beforehand, have a little breakdown of what you want to be writing hour by hour so you have something specific to focus on and do that and write your words for. Maybe you're breaking it up into 1,000 words each hour and then just having bullet points of what you're actually writing because I got myself really confused. I wasn't very organized. I kind of knew this was going to happen, but it's all right. I'll deal with that later. But this was pretty fun. Thank you for joining me on my first write-a-thon. I hope you like this video. Let me know, have you ever done something like this before, a writing challenge? Would you or do you have any tips? I'd love to hear them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.